Hey, I wanted to share another response I got from our two-minute quick assessment on our website at theeducationgame.com. This time it's from a mom. We'll call her Lisa. She heard about me on LinkedIn. So Lisa, thanks for uh, completing the assessment. Uh, you've got a 10 children between the ages of 10 and 13. You homeschool. Um, you know, again, when, you, when I see homeschooling, it tells me immediately some things that uh, I can expect, right? So first off, that you have a lot of authority, a lot of decision-making. Your child has a lot of decision-making about the learning that's going to happen in your home. That's fantastic. What I also like about this is the number of areas of interest that your child has. What I find is usually as a child is um, in a more open environment for learning, not one that's you know really test-driven and and subject driven, there's the kids curiosities kind of expand. And so um, Lisa describes also that she's got one that's interested in horses. Um, and I guess running her own barn. Very cool. Very cool. No farmer can ever not learn the skills of entrepreneurship. Every farmer is a great entrepreneur or they die because <laughs> they can't grow food. Uh, another one's interested in the pilot's license. Fantastic. Actually, I've got a daughter at home that's interested in that as well. So maybe we could talk offline about that. Uh, he's also learning the code. So this is this is terrific. This is the type of learning that to me is what I so hope that every kid can have. Broad interests, broad exposure, start to tinker with the areas of interest for, for the child and see what happens. Far better outcomes there than um, following the the rest of the train. Okay. Um, High amount of uh, curiosity in the child, great amount of uh, comfort with failure, um, growing more curious. Again, these are all things that I would love to, you know, for every child to, to, to have. Really wants a hard worker, critical thinker, curious child. Um, I mean, these are all the answers that I would hope every parent could answer uh, with two exceptions. One is this individual on purpose, on paper plan. You've got to have something on paper or else things just kind of slide. So that's the first piece. But then the second one is this part that she describes right here. Let me minimize myself so we can read it. Um, when you're homeschooling, you're a social outsider for sure. You're going against what everyone else is doing, quote unquote. And it's hard at times to stay focused on your goals and vision and not get lost in the what if I'm screwing up, screwing all this up, nagging voice that wants to follow you. Uh, and follow the societal flow, so to speak. So her chief concern is, uh, is, is whether their schooling is maintaining her confidence, the mom's confidence and momentum that she's doing right for her kids. It takes courage to take true ownership of her child's education and not to shrug it off with, I sent them to school, I did what I was supposed to do, um, indifference, right? So her ch chief question and concern is not about the kids, it's about her and her courage. And I want to just pause here, put a really big pin in this. So many parents, myself included, are constantly afraid. Am I screwing this up? Am I doing right by my kid? We do not know. Um, the only thing we can do is to start to see patterns. And the patterns that this mom is reacting to, the, probably the reason why she's homeschooling, is that she's seeing patterns of young people that grow up not knowing who they are, not knowing what they are put on this earth to do, and that gives her some serious concerns, as well it should. But for every parent that's out there, I want you to really, really hear what I'm about to say. It is perfectly normal for you to be afraid for your child. It is part of the job description. The issue, though, is are you being strategic and thoughtful about it? And if you are, then, like this mom, again, we're calling her Lisa, you are going to lead your child in a direction that fits with your heart. Even if it's against the grain, and, and frankly, every child is different. So if, 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 uh, if you're following the grain, following what everyone else does, you're kind of in some ways, you know, shirking the responsibility because your child is different and they need to follow a different pathway. But unfortunately, many are, aren't able to or don't have the, the wherewithal to do so. So Lisa, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Happy to talk to you more. If you just need a little bit of encouragement, I certainly do. And, and sometimes the parents I talk to on the phone turn into my counselors and they help encourage me. But for Lisa, for Lisa what you're doing here is great work. Keep it up. Um, do not lose heart. Keep checking in with your children about their interests and keep supporting that. And, and that's a good way to go. So thanks for sending that in. And I hope this was helpful. Take care.